So good afternoon, uh, Chairman Grosso, uh, Chairman Mendelssohn, uh, members of the council and staff. Uh, thank you uh, for the opportunity to testify today. My name is Peter Clamp. Um, I'm a violinist and I'm a member of the uh, DC Strings uh, workshop. Could you repeat um, your name, please? Yes, first name is Peter. Last name is Clamp. It's spelled C-L-A-M-P, and I, I've got the copies of this testimony, which have my name on. Thank you. Um, so DC Strings, is, it's a non-profit organization, um, and uh, it has the, um, uh, the it, it brings um, music to all parts of our city, including parts where, where music doesn't often reach. Uh, we, there's a lot of music goes on in Northwest DC, but this orchestra deliberately uh, goes out of its way to bring m music into um, all parts, all, all quadrants of, of DC, um, including those which are underserved in terms of music, and, and, and that correlates with, I think, being economically underserved as well. Um, through uh, through the, the DC Strings Orchestra and various ensembles, um, the group has given performances, uh, over 40 concerts in district libraries, um, in schools, community centers, and uh, museums. I think it's important to bring music to places where music is not normally heard um, uh, so that people get a chance to, to kind of re, uh, rehear uh, music in, in contexts which are close to, to our everyday lives. And um, as we just heard, um, DC Strings' mission um, is to, it operates from the belief that, that all people, and particularly young people, uh, should experience the the joys of music and have music to uh, access to quality music instruction. We've seen, you know, Meryl Streep in Harlem. We've seen the movies. We know um, that that quality music teachers can transform uh, the lives of of inner city kids in ways which are almost uh, unbelievable. And we believe that access to each each uh, student's creativity. The experience of, of, of finding one's own expressiveness is, is, a, is a birthright that, that all, um, all children should have offered to them. Um, so um, I'm here today to call for uh, increased investment in um, music education and to highlight the need for established music programs in all DC public schools and especially in the, in the early grades. We know that when uh, musical training starts early, parts of the brain develop which uh, otherwise may stay dormant and never, uh, never come to maturity. So um, investing in music programs is a wonderful way to, to switch on brain development. Um, uh, according to data from DCPS, um, there's barely a handful of uh, high school bands and orchestras in, in DC public schools, and it seems to me troubling that, that in our nation's capital, where we have so many wonderful arts organizations and, and uh, international orchestras that come and play, um, that, uh, that our youth don't have opportunities to, to find their own uh, expressiveness. Mr. Clamp, your, your time is up. If you could okay. just finish, that would be great. And um, uh, so I'm urging DC public schools to hire full-time uh, enthusiastic music professionals, and I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions. 